The Morpho Biometric plugin is a third-party security center plugin that integrates IDEMIA Morpho Manager biometric devices into the Gentech Security Center so that cardholder access can be managed using the biometric devices. This video is all about how to integrate Morpho biometric devices into the Genetic Security Center. It is to inform you that I have uploaded multiple video series related to the above integration. For the step-by-step -step process of the integration, please watch the complete playlist related to the Morpho integration with Gentech Security Center, which is available on my channel. However, this is the final video for the integration series. So without any ado, let's start the video. In the previous videos, we have seen the installation of Morpho Biometric plugins into the Gentech Security Center. An ODB connectivity between the Morpho Manager and Gentech Security Center database. And we have seen how to add Morpho Biometric devices into the Morpho Manager clients. Now we will try to enroll fingerprints through the Gentech Security Center. To do that, go to the cardholder in Gentech Security Center and then add a new cardholder, enter the first name, and last name. Then select the access level. Then click on add a credential. Here select the manual entry. A new pop-up wizard will open. Select the card format, enter the facility code, and then enter the card number in the dedicated fields. Click on OK to continue. To enroll the fingerprint, click on Morpho configuration. There is an error that occurred. The cardholder must be created before you can configure it. Click on OK. And then click on Save. Now again click on Morpho Configuration. The Morpho Configuration Wizard will open. To enroll click on the Configure button. Once the user clicks on Configure, it will redirect to the Morpho Manager client software. Log in into the software by entering the user credentials. The default username is the administrator. And the password is password. Once you enter the credentials, click on the login. There is an interruption of product registration. Morpho Manager required the license registration. You can use the product only for 7 days once you installed the software on your PC. Don't worry I have already uploaded the video on how to get the license for Morpho Manager software online for free. The link to the video is given in the description. You can go through with that to register your product online without any external support and cost. As of now click on No to continue the video. If you see the integration still not completed and there is an error that has occurred, that T is the user distribution group. To resolve this issue, we need to configure the Morpho Manager. Let's configure the Morpho Manager client. Morpho Manager must be configured to work with the security center using the Morpho Manager client application. Here, we will learn to configure a Morpho Manager to work with the Security Center. If the user interface described in this topic is different than what you have, make sure that you are running a compatible version of the software. Run the Morpho Manager Client application by dual-clicking on its icon. Once the application starts running, log in into the application by entering the user credential. Users have to create the vegan profile. A vegan profile defines the information that is output over the vegan out interface of a Morpho biometric device when a user is identified. Because the security center requires all data from the credential, you must create a custom vegan profile in Morpho Manager to capture the entire credential as a card number. To create a custom vegan profile, go to the Administration tab and then navigate to Vegan Profile. Add a single vegan profile that has the following settings. Enter a name for the vegan profile. For example, Security Center Vegan Profile 2.0. Enter the description. You can have the same description as name. Then enter the bit length. The user can use 26 bits, 37 bits, 42 bits, or other values as per the project requirement. Here I will use 37 bits because I already have the access cards with 37 bits. Then click on Next to continue. Add vegan profile elements by clicking on Add button. Select the user from the list. And then enter a name, for example, user 2.0. Then enter the length as the previous value. Then click on Next to continue. The created element will appear in the list. 
Save the setting by clicking on the Finish button. Once the user added the new vegan profile, it will appear in the list, as you can see now on my screen. Next, we need to configure the user policy. The user policies apply access rights and rules to all members of a group in Morpho Manager Client. Create a single user policy that includes the following configuration. To create a user policy, go to User Configuration and click on the Add button from the User Configuration menu. Enter the name of the user policy, for example, Security Center Policy 2.0. In the description, the user can use the same name, or you can skip it. Then Access Mode select as per user. Then select Vegan Profile, the name of the vegan profile that you created for Security Center. For example, I created a Security Center Vegan Profile 2.0. So let me select it from the list. Keep another setting as default. Then click on Next to continue. Finger Biometric Enrollment, Minimum Fingers select from the list, and click on Next to continue. Keep the setting as default, and click on Next. Save the settings by clicking on the Finish button. The added user policy will appear in the list, as you can see now on my screen. Next, we need to configure the biometric device profile. The biometric device profile will define common settings and parameters for one or more biometric devices. Create a biometric device policy that includes the following configuration. To create the device profile, navigate to the biometric device configuration. Then click on Add. Enter the name, for example Genetic Security Bio 2.0. Then Configuration Mode, set to Express. Then. Allow remote enrollment, select the checkbox to enable this option. Default user policy for remote enrollment selects the name of the user policy that we created for the security center. For example, I created security center policy 2.0. Keep the remaining setting as default and click on next to continue. Select the vegan profile which we created earlier, for example, I created a security center vegan profile 2.0. So let me select that from the list. Keep the remaining setting as default. Then click on Next to continue. Biometric Threshold Setting. Keep this setting as default. And click on Next to continue. Select the multi-factor mode as biometric only, and click on Next to continue. Duress Vegan Mode, set to disabled. And keep the remaining settings as default. Then click on Next to continue. Adding biometric device configuration. Keep this setting as default and click on Next to continue. Keep this setting as default and click on Next to continue. Keep all the settings default and just click on Next to complete the setting. Once all the configuration is completed, click on Finish to save the configuration. The added biometric device profile will appear in the list. As you can see on my screen now, Next, user has to make the system configuration. Scroll down and click on System Configuration from the main menu. Then go to the System Functionality tab from the menu. And change the following setting. Change the default user configuration as Security Center Policy 2.0, which we were created earlier. Then change the default biometric device configuration as Gentech Security Bio 2.0 which we created earlier. Then change the default vegan profile as Security Center Vegan Profile 2.0, which we created. Complete the changes by clicking on the Save button. Next, navigate the Bio Bridge tab in the menu. Then change the following settings. Forced User Configuration Change as Security Center Policy 2.0, which we created earlier. Once we completed the configuration, click on the Save button to save the setting. Once we're done with this configuration, we need to go back to the Security Center to verify that the configuration we have completed is working with the Genetic Security Center or not. Let's go back to the Security Center and navigate to Biometric Plugging. Make the configuration as follows. Server host name, set as local host. Then server port set as 42100. 
then server username, set as administrator, and password, set as password. Then select the vegan format which was created in the Morpha Manager. Here I will select all formats. It's an option to set all formats, or one particular format. Once we completed the setting, go to Cardholder Management, and try to enroll the fingerprint through the Security Center. We have seen at the beginning of this video, that when I try to enroll the fingerprint, it was not able to connect with the Morpha Manager, due to the configuration was not done properly. As you know that we have configured the Morpha Manager, to work with the Security Center. Let's try to connect the Morpha Manager with the Security Center. To do that, click on Configure button. Once the user clicks on the Configure button, it will be redirected to the Morpho Manager client. As you can see on my screen, it's able to verify all the required information from both databases. We are ready to enroll the fingerprint of the cardholder through the Security Center. Click on Next to continue. Click on any of the fingers, and get Register Your Finger. Once we are done with the registration, click on Next to finish the enrollment of the fingerprint. Let me show you the event for the access grants, with a finger through ID Morpho device. As you can see on my screen, access is granted, which means our integration is working fine. I hope you learn how to integrate the Genetic Security Center with ID Morpho Manager. If you need any support on this topic, you can contact us by given platforms. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you subscribe to my channel, I can make more videos on different topics, which are not available in the YouTube gallery. See you soon with different and unique topics.